curând, cele două echipe își fac apariția pe gazon, cu Jiul în dreapta și Fălticenii în stânga, gata pentru marea confruntare care va urma. The winter is here guys, season 22, we are very close to the opener of the transfer window. We have tons, tons, tons of plans uh, with our roster, with our squad. We have already two players that are going to join. Uh, we're trying to sell our left back uh, Thomas Yoon for uh, no less than 20 million. And uh, we're destroying everyone in Champions League. We have a, again another great season in the league phase. Um, and the highlight of the league phase games was uh, a win at home against uh, Manchester City 4-1. The very first time actually when we beat Manchester City. And it was um, it was a great performance by the players. Today is Friday guys, September 27. Um, we're going to have a 2 hours stream. I'm going to have to go back to, to the class today. That's why we're going to keep it at 2 hours. I think we're not going to play any games during the, the day, uh, today's stream, we're going to have to just uh, look for players, scout players. And um, yeah, pretty much uh, try to, to improve the squad for the second part of the season. Let's uh, let's start, guys. So uh, after Braga, this was the last game we played uh, on the last stream. We uh, beat 4-2 Chefre Cluj in Liga 1 away, 5-1 at home against Farul. And guys, let's watch the goals against Manchester City. 4-1 destruction at home uh, on Petr Libardi. And uh, they played with their starters. They played with their best team. So there's no uh, no reason, no other reason for them to, to complain, you know, than just uh, poor, poor uh, delivery. 
There you go. First gold will check. Uh, and then another great goal. Ravnic uh, right before halftime. 2-0 at the break. Hodemacher here on the left with a great cross. And then uh, a little bit of uh, luck there. Deflection. And then they scored 2-1. Ravnic here for Kresci. And Kresci took his time and uh, focused on where he's going to place that shot and he did it the right way at side net no chance for the goalie 3-1 really uh shitty defense for city in that game and then koledic 17 years old right back koledic with another great goal 4-1 and his first goal in champions league at only 17 and he chose to score against manchester city so you can imagine what kind of future this kid has three points and uh, another 2.77 million in the bank. Uh, and this is a great sign that we are ready, guys, for the later stages of this competition. Maybe even the final. Who knows? If we're lucky, again, uh, with the draw in uh, the round of 16 in the quarterfinals, if we get there, and so forth. And then 3 uh, nothing at Petrolul. Four one at Faru Constanza in the quarterfinals of the Romanian Cup. Four nothing win at FCSB. Another great win against Leipzig. Two nothing away. Let's watch the goals. We're beating great teams, guys. Away or home, it doesn't matter. Impressive performances by the boys. Pedersen. 81st minute passing here to Edson. Edson leaves the ball to Yoon. Back to Edson and Edson. That's why we paid 17 million for him. Scores a late goal and then immediately after 82nd minute, Jose Luis for Testa. Testa for Edson and Edson with a great assist to Patterson, who has a stunning finish. We paid 17 million for Edson, 16 million for Patterson, and they both scored. It paid off, guys. Smart deals always at Jules. 2 0 full time at Leipzig in Germany. And then after that, uh, we played against Uta at home in Liga 1, 2 0 win. And the last game I played on my own was a 7 2 win away at Voluntad. Let me double check the frames here. I think we're stable right now. The connection is stable. It looked a little bit shaky when I started the stream when I uh, went live. Right now it looks stable. Okay guys, so this is it. This is what we did so far since uh, the last stream. As you can see, undefeated season. We're not losing games at all. Uh, we dropped some points in Liga 1 due to the fact that I had to play the backup. And only one draw in Champions League against Milan at home. And that was a dumb, total domination. I don't know why we couldn't score. So yeah, um, like I said, today no games. We're going to just scout. It's December 18th, guys. So there's 30 days up until the next game we're going to play. And that will be against Cicereda in Liga 1. I chose to stream today because um, it's important for me to show you guys how I search players, how I find players, how we improve the squad. And uh, there is a chance that if we do the right deals this winter, that might push us to win the Champions League. Maybe even this season. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be a two hour stream, like I said, but two hours where we have to uh, do a lot of scouting. So bear with me. And if it gets too boring, feel free to join next time. But today is all about scouting. Trabzon Spore at home after Chichereda on uh, January 20th. And then uh, Craiova at home after three days. So definitely backups here. And Porto. So. Rabdon Sport and Porto are going to be the last two games from the Champions League league phase season 22, guys. Let's uh, press continue. Uh, 
and um, I think we have we're gonna have plenty of offers for Philip Yaros. Uh, Juventus is interested, but we're not selling. We want to keep the best players at the club. Edson got injured for three to four weeks, but it's okay. Uh, it's uh, it's great because it's the uh, it's the winter break right now, so he has time to come back. He has time to recover, and also Ojeda is injured for between six days and two weeks. So there you go. Um, I guess we have to move Ravnic right now on the left and put Pedersen on the right up until they're gonna recover. Okay, let's see our finances. So we still have 1,800,000 in the bank. They gave us a little bit of more money into the wages. So we have 147 million. So we have 16 million in, uh, in wages available. For some reason, we just have 30% of transfer revenue made available by the chairman. I don't know why, but I'm not going to change this. It's okay. As long as we have... Over 100 million, I always here in the overall balance. I'm, I'm okay with that. So, 33 million transfer debt. This has to go down, and it's gonna go down, like I said many, many times, only by selling players uh, and uh, at high prices, also. Improvements so far in our squad. Razzari, who has a stunning season, 141 current ability at only 18 years old. This guy definitely will be a world class, so we have to keep on playing him. I uh, love the way he's training. 10 rating all the time, or 970 around that um, average rating. So that's, that's, that's crazy for such a young kid to be a professional Let's see who else is improving this season. Yeah, Vulcek with stunning performances and 153 current ability. I mean, uh, an amazing, amazing advanced uh, playmaker or attacking midfielder, whatever you want to, you know, play him. He's uh, an attacking midfielder for us in our tactic. Jose Luis, um, let's try to renew his contract. We tried three times, three times. To, to renew his contract and we failed because he's asking for more than 15 million per season guys and um uh two years and six months left on his contract that's uh, that's concerning so let's try again uh, actually we cannot because um last time when we tried to do this uh, when we tried to renew the contract it was probably less than two weeks ago in the game so we need probably another week or maybe even two until we can talk again so we'll see um we might sell miroslav kresci guys we might sell him close to full potential this is what my assistant coach is saying about uh kresci and we also have kurstic who i might sell also um Still, still four stars and let's say unlikely to improve, but it's not 100%. He's not going to improve. It's unlikely. And the only thing that I don't like about Kristic uh, is the physicals. Everything else is great. So we have potentially one, two, two players, Kristic, Kristic to sell. And maybe... I mean, maybe. Uh, definitely, we will try to sell Thomas Yoon, but not for less than 20 million. So he's right now at 23 million. I'm going to remove this because we're going to try again when officially the transfer window will open. I'm going to offer him to clubs again. It's unbelievable how he's only worth 3.2 million right now. It's It's crazy. Why? At 147 current ability, his price is only 3.2 million. Uh, if this is 
the case, then we're not going to sell. He's a valuable asset for us because he's a homegrown. He's a legend of the club. Let's see. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seasons and a half at Gilles. Koledic, 123 current ability, but he's improving every single week with every single game. Great performances, especially in Champions League. 7.32 average rating, 4 assists and 1 goal in 15 games in Liga 1. Zvonimir Koledic. Okay, um, let's press continue. We will do some scouting in a little bit. But um, to have better chances in Champions League, we need to sign some already established players. So over 150 current ability, it will be ideal. December 18, 2043, guys. Let's see what we got here. So, Yarosh, also great performances overall this season. But he's, uh, he's a jerk, basically, because every single time when I'm trying to rest him, he's getting pissed off that he's not playing games in Liga 1. So, you know the story already. We can't risk this kind of players, the starting players, to to uh, be too fatigued and then getting injured. So that's the only reason why we didn't give him playing time or the the playing time that he wants. He needs a rest. Now he's gonna get at least three weeks to rest. Uh, we try. We try to keep him at the club, and uh, I will definitely give him a new deal, but for now, he's unhappy. Yep. We promise him more playing time, so when he's going to become happy, we will um, give him the new deal. He deserves, deserves to make way more than 1 million per season, especially because he's a starter, and everyone else are making a lot of money. Just him, he's the only underpaid player. <laughs> yes, we're dropping some uh, some serious frames here. But as always guys, on YouTube you can watch this episode without interruptions so probably when we're done in three four hours it's gonna be available it's gonna be posted already on YouTube for those who are not uh, on Twitch and now we're stable So, as you can see, now the team is ready to go for the holidays on the 21st up until January 4th, I think. Usually, it's like two weeks, three weeks at most.
we don't want to sign too many players this winter because we don't want to decrease the uh, familiarity of this tactic with the players you know so they already have uh, good um connection relationships between themselves on the pitch if i can phrase it like that they already know each other they already know the way uh, we are trying to play bringing new players it's always tricky you know it can always backfire no matter how good the players the new players are it's always it always can go wrong so all right let's see what we have um available here from our scouts let's see how many reports so martin vasquez left back we already have a left back coming in we don't need you jesus muñoz 17 years old from argentina not good enough this guy 18 years old Kajiso Moloi 112 current ability I mean he doesn't look bad at all like a deep deep backup speaking of South Africa let's see what they have lately the senior national squad Hey Bessmurf, how are you man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, maybe this guy right here. Ngobe. 125 current ability. Fifty million Mkwachwa. Damn. 148 current ability they are loaning him maybe i think so yep they are loaning him but do we do we need him this is the question 19 first touch this is good vision 17 i don't like the physicals and he's already 26 years old he's short so with this tactic we need to be aggressive and we need to be strong this guy is not strong he can definitely play deep line playmaker hmm. let's scout let's see exactly what our scouts are saying about him he might be interested in a loan Six twenty-four. Kunene, Tsepo Kunene. I'm okay. Have watched Dream Euro Cup 2024 of mental health this week. My team did okay, but did not make the quarterfinal. I'm uh, I'm sorry, man. Your guys didn't make it. Probably it was uh, really competitive, right? It would have been nice if you could, you know, could attend the tournament. Who knows, maybe next time you can go. Mogotsi. Jacobs. Yeah, they have nothing good, so let's go back to our scout reports. Uh, Italy was big favorite, and they won 3-2 in the final. I see. Who did I beat in the final? Musonda. 
Jacob Musonda, 22 years old, Zambian international. From uh, Atalanta. And uh, he can be retrained as a left wing or inside forward on the left. But I'm pretty sure they're going to over ask like his price tag is between 13.5 and 19.5. You better believe they're going to ask for at least 30 million. We lost 8-0 to Italy. We won 3-2 over Finland and lost 2-1 two uh, two to England. Italy beat Hungary in the final. No Romania there? I guess we're not good enough to even make the tournament. <laughs> Candanoza, 17 years old. Candanoza, 17 technique from Colombia. Let's press continue. Nothing good so far, guys. Yeah, they didn't qualify then. Romania is shit. <laughs> what about United States? No United States? Oh, it's Euros. Dumb. I'm dumb. Sorry. I forgot. It's the Euros. Not the World Cup. Ravnic Leipzig. Yeah, good luck with that. And 12 million for our boy Ravnic here, who is at almost 170 current ability right now. Yeah, who knows? Maybe you guys are gonna do the World Cup too. That will be awesome. Maybe this way you can travel to US. <laughs> no offers for Yuga. We're trying to sell Yuga. And we failed so far. Let's ask for 9 million. 66 teams interested in him. And no one is willing to give more than 1 million. Italy won the World Cup. So they're double champions. Damn. They must be pretty good. And it's like 8 player versus 8 players? Or what's the setup? Best Murph. Seven on the field and one goalie, or? Five versus five. Oh, I see. Okay. So four player, four field players and one goalie. Okay. Yeah, we have Sunday, probably the last game of the season. We're playing the quarterfinals uh, against this Bulgarian team. We lost during the regular season against them 3-1. We beat them 1-0 and then we lost 3-1. So we played them twice this season, home and away. Beat them home, lost away and now... We play them again in the quarterfinals. They're a very good team. But we're playing outdoor, outside, 11 on 11, which is the real deal. But it's very difficult to run, man. My knees are killing me lately. Uh, attend meeting, skip to contracts, blah, blah, blah. Not important. Let's press continue. And I'm actually not sure if next season I'm going to register with this team anymore. Probably if I don't find any other team, I might quit for good. So this might be, this Sunday might be the very last game that I play in my career. Career. <laughs> yeah.
next summer it's uh probably gonna be a different different tournament they have a different format and from what i heard from the guys from my team they don't want to join this league anymore with that kind of format so yeah yeah 11 on 11 on a full size field it's tough man especially at our age right now we're not young anymore so definitely it's the challenge you know yeah well, i'm even I, I spoke with my wife and she's not happy that i always have to drive far for the games and and you know i'm like i said i'm already 41 i'm almost 42 so not young anymore 11 on 11 is very challenging and not only that you have to play the games but you have to practice too you have to train because if you don't train when the the game day comes you're just gonna choke you're like you're so tired you, you need to train you're you're not able to play in this kind of tournaments if you don't train so that takes time now i joined the school i'm probably gonna have to drive a lot when i start driving the truck so yeah it's tough i don't want to quit playing but yeah there's other things more important right now 1.1 million from atlas for yuga seriously 78 teams now interested in him 78 i will do 7.5 let's see all right jerks they are jerks they're giving me 1 million for this guy come on man 125 like this guy is way better than that way better than that way better Discuss promises with Yuga. The finances weren't right, dude. Let's negotiate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 7.5. Eh, you're a jerk. Ridiculous, man. We signed him for free, so whatever we get for him, it's profit. But I want to get at least 5-6 mil. Because he's still young, 125 currently, and he can still improve. He's just a deep backup for us. That's why he's stuck right now at 125. But with playing time, I believe he would go over 130. We got him for free, but he was a Chelsea player. So Chelsea saw some potential in him. I don't know if you were here, Batsmurf, but we uh, we did some um, updates when I started the stream and uh, with the schedule. So we beat uh, Manchester City 4-1 in the league phase this season of Champions League. 4-1. So I think this is a sign that we're almost there. We're almost there, man. And that would be amazing if we can finish the season undefeated in all competitions. Which means then we have to win the, the Champions League. Yeah, it was it was surprising. It was also easy, you know. 4-1, we didn't even struggle a bit. And they played with their starting players, with their best team. Hodemacher was there. He's close to 190 current ability right now for the marker. And what plans do you have for this weekend, man? Yeah, we're getting closer, yes. Honestly, I cannot wait to finish with this uh, save. I just want some, something else, something fresh. And 
I already set up the, um, the new save with uh, Lubeck. Whenever we're done with this, we're going to jump right in. I already have the intro. And that's going to be the next save on the channel. And definitely against, I mean against, with Lubeck, we're going to win the Champions League way, way faster. Just watching football this weekend? Okay. Sounds good, man. You're not going to play FM? All right, we have some scouting reports and Kamil Machovsky. They keep showing me this guy. But look at the price tag, 12.5 million between 12.5 and 18.5. He's a wonder kid, but he will be the backup. And we have already way better backups than this guy, so I'm going to I'm going to pass. You're going to play maybe? Okay. Sunday Yahaya, extremely interested, and look where he plays, Bran, wonder kid, 19 years old, Sunday Yahaya, Nigerian, international, with two caps already, decent potential, and the price tag is also decent, average injury proneness, Now the question is, do we need him? Do we need him? We already have Koledic. My boy Koledic, who is going to be a monster. And this guy scored against City, Besmurf. The 4-1 goal against City. He played the whole game. And he scored the last one at only 17 years old. So yeah. He's 124 current ability. But this guy will improve in no time. So probably in six months he's going to be at 140. Easy. Alright, so again, let's see who we have backup right back. Backup right back. No one. A proper right back. No one. Yeah, therefore, and they say it's going to be a ter terrific signing, could improve a lot. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm going to give uh, probably, let's say, let's start with 2.5 million, let's see Bran, if they're reasonable. Okay, maybe 3.5, let's see. Let's try again. And he's a decent, actually he's a very good backup to Koledic. 3.5. There you go. 3.5 it is. Done and done. Ex he's extremely interested, so his wages are nothing for us. And this guy, I tried to sign this guy one year ago and he rejected us so now definitely he's gonna say yes um victor Bar varbanov was our striker several seasons ago and we sold him to forgot we sold him to bournemouth for 14 million we got him for 3.5 sold him to bournemouth for 14 made some profit and right now liverpool bought him for 98 million from eintracht frankfurt Viktor Varbanov. Still, still uh, great at 150 current ability. I love me some tall strikers, um, I have to admit. German. Mamadou Diabate. 32. He used to be our wonder kid back in the day. Mamadou Diabate. He was right here on the right. Inside forward on the right. Now at Celtic. Alright. Stiglek 34. Not interested. Leonardo Silva too old. 
Inter wants Yarosh and for 6.75 million. Thanks. Jerks. Alright, now let's let's sign the Nigerian kid. There you go. And they're asking for a loan back. No, 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 no. Oh, he will play. Especially in Liga 1, he will play. Five years or four years contract. He just turned 19 right now, so... No bonuses, no nothing. But I will bump this to 1 million. Okay, I want you to sign right away. So 1.2 is... Is okay with you? Let's see. Really? Okay. 1.5. Thank you. 1.5 it is. Done and done. Reject loan back. And we have a new right back. Adjust budget. Sunday Yahaya. And let's give him a face right now. Since we're here. Let's do it. From Brun. Brunbergen. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. 19. He's very young. It's gonna take me a few minutes, guys, but... Yeah, we got him. We got him. Right. Let's see the info here. Eight zero zero two. Uh, it will take us like three minutes. Already 46 minutes into the stream. So now, with this guy joining, we have a complete team. The only player that we should sell and we definitely have to sell is Thomas Yoon because we already have a left back coming in also, the Italian. I forgot his name. And we might get something for the Romanian central defender. So yeah. Maybe we'll sell uh, Kreschi because he's close to full potential and uh, we can get some good money for him. If we don't, then yeah, he's going to stay as a backup 
with us until the end of the season at least. And next season, if we don't win the Champions League next season, probably, most likely, we're going to have the glitch again. And no uh, game scheduled for Liga 1. And uh, the one good thing about it is that we're going to finish the season very fast. It's going to be a cruise control. Boom, boom. But I have a good feeling about this season. I don't know why, but I have a very good feeling about winning the Champions League this season. Especially after we destroyed Manchester City. And we beat easily also Leipzig away 2-0. The only team that we struggled against was Milan at home 0-0. Other than that, just... We murdered everyone. Sunday Yahaya. Like a 19 years old right back with two caps already for Nigeria is not not bad. I'm impressed. And also I wanted to sign him because of the scout reports um, pushing him all the time. Like, oh terrific signing. Sign him whatever the price. When he was younger, when he was 17, we spotted him, but he didn't want to join. He signed with Braun, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's hope, Bessmer. Let's hope. We need a little bit of luck, too, because it's not enough to have a great team. You still need luck involved, because what if you get red card suspensions and injuries and all that, so... And I'm thinking... If we don't win the Champions League this season, maybe we should try a new tactic for for next year. I was looking into Leipzig formation. I like the 4-2-2-2, the way they play in real life. I am because this way we're going to involve more players who are you know sitting on the bench right now, they're disappointed for playing time. And with the 4-2-2-2, we can have a different setup and also we can make more players happy because they are gonna have to play two strikers two at attacking midfielders one on support one on attack two dms on support two ball playing defenders and two fullbacks on attack this is my idea yeah and it, it's it's tricky because this tactic, Adam's tactic, was very, very good so far. That's why we stuck to it for, for so long. And Sunday, Yahaya, welcome to Gio whenever you join, probably in January. 19 years old. Average injury proneness. But like I said, I'm okay with him being a backup. He's a very good backup. So let's press continue. Three point five million it's cheap for what he can bring for what he can deliver. And I'm looking at Veresh Shakhtar, my first bet for today. Shakhtar is struggling. 0-0 zero, zero at halftime. My bet is Shakhtar to win and the game to have less than 5 goals. 
but they're playing away so based on the line movement Shakhtar should win but with even with the live movement line movement it's not always 100% that you're going to hit the bet so lately i'm on a losing streak 3 days lo losing streak with the line movement but it's part of the the strategy you have to take the losing days too you have to keep grinding we're not discussing any transfer for now still early it's actually christmas eve December 24th, 2043. Even with the three losing days with uh, line movement, we're still having an amazing month and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch everything. My big account, my betting account, I'm just going to bet line movement uh, from the beginning of next month. Since I discovered the line movement strategy, I was betting more, like, more than one strategy altogether. Like, everything was mixed, like trends and uh, you name it. Um... Uh, Goals away, goals home. I was analyzing games differently, but now with the line movement, it's a game changer. So I wanted to test it for at least a month before I made my decision. And right now, at the beginning of next month, we're going to bet big on uh, line movement. All right, second half, Veresh. And Shakhtar, come on Shakhtar, I want to I wanna see a goal as soon as possible. And David Yuga, this is the guy that we're trying to sell. I always forget his name. Okay, 7.5 again, let's go. Somebody. Ravnish to Real Sociedad. Mm -hmm. For 12 million, for sure. Uh, transfers. I hope so too. Because like, I, uh, I have $120 profit this month with line movement by betting only with $3 per bet. So think about if I move my big account and i bet line movement with my big account with 15 dollars per bet because this is my idea from next month so imagine the profit if it's gonna hit the same because this month i'm hitting at 61.2 right now 61.2 percent and the odds are very risky the odds are from minus 140 and up minus 140 minus 130 even plus 140 yesterday for example i'm gonna give you a crazy example yesterday and I, I'm so annoyed and I'm so pissed off that I didn't bet more on this game. But last night, uh, in the Champions League, Caribbean Champions League or something like that, it was uh, Comunicaciones versus Alajuelense. Just two unknown teams. So I, I joined the bet in the 60th minute, something like that. It was one nothing for the home team, for Comunicaciones, right? The odds for Alajuelense to win the game was plus 310. And the line movement were saying that, uh, you know, the, um, the live movement was showing Alajuelense, the away team that has an 82, plus 82 points in the line movement, uh, play, plus 82 points in the odds. So I was like, ah, oh, let's just, let's just mess around and let's just put three dollars again for alajuelense to win boom two one 
they won the game. And I was like, why I didn't put 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, you know, but as like, I, I don't have the balls to do it. That's why. <laughs> but just to, just an example to, to show you how line movement can, can bring you like huge profits. Yes. You're going to have tons of losses too. Cause when you play high odds, of course, of course you're going to have, um, bunch of losses too, but they're more right there than wrong. This is this is the most important thing you have to understand. These people, the the sharp betters, they're more right than they're wrong. So it means when you play high odds, even if you lose, you're still gonna win on the, in the long run. So that's why I'm gonna stick to this. Last three hundred ten. And yesterday overall, I won seven five, seven wins, five losses, but. From those seven wins, one of one of those was at plus three hundred ten. So you can imagine the profit. Just amazing. I lost three days in a row with my other strategy, with um whatever, the trends and all that. Three losing days. But even even with uh with my big account, right, with my other strategy, I involve even line movement there sometimes the the difference that is uh with a lot with uh because i don't want to confuse you guys the difference with my big account with the bets there is that i always choose safe odds and always do like oh the home team to win and uh, over one goal or over two goals and that's where i get killed instead of playing money line I just do okay this team to win but the game to have more than one goal or less than five goals and that's where i lose all the time i'm gonna try to change that i will get back to the betting when my mental health is a bit better yes best Murph, of course man whenever you feel you feel like you're ready whenever you feel your mind is clear you know to me is a daily habit you know i'm always betting even if i lose four five six days in a row i'm still betting because i know eventually the winning days are gonna come it's just a bad streak you know and yeah betting with, with having other things in mind and on on your mind yeah it's uh it's not good you have to be focused so you don't want to lose money so when you're ready of course you can uh, start betting again And this guy is a practical signing. Yeah, we're not going to buy him. Or even loan him. Yarosh in Lazio's jersey. No. We're not in business of letting good players go. Yeah, like I said, Besmer, better to wait, man. But I've been struggling for years to have like a strong strategy. It's always one month this, one month that. Like it's it's annoying. So right now with the light movement, finally I have something that I'm just gonna do, and that's the only thing I'm gonna do. Like the only strategy that I'm gonna focus on no more trends no more i mean i can look at trends and you know but no more um risky odds for like just gut feeling you know this is what i'm trying to say no more gut feeling i'm just gonna focus on the line movement uh pinnacle sports book is the sharpest sport book in the world so if you go on that website only focus on pinnacle odds Custom, um, I guess, week off, yeah. Yeah, because if you're going all over the place, you don't know uh, if either strategy is working. So if you choose just one, at least you have a clear picture at the end of the month. Hey, this did work or did not work, you know. But for me, already, like, I have... One month and a half, almost two months with line movement. 
and it's great for the month like i said for the month of september 61.2 or 0.3 percent this is my winning rate at way 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 higher odds than i was uh betting before Still 0-0, zero, zero. Shakhtar at Veresh. You better freaking score, man. One, one second, guys, because I have a, a game right now that is looking really interesting. I just want to double check the line movement and if it's in my favor then I'm going to place a bet just one moment Vita Bundesliga Greater Fürth Düsseldorf for example So Pinnacle they're saying the home team Fürth actually are gonna do some things today. Yeah, let's see both teams to score for this one. Yeah, Pinnacle are saying that this is gonna be a both teams to score over 2.5 goals. Let's see what they say about over 2.5 goals. Pinnacle, yes, they're, they're saying it. it it's going to go over 2.5. So, with that in mind, let me do a both teams to score. Because they're saying the home team has the advantage, but they're not saying, you know, oh, it's like a clear favorite, you know. So, when that's, when this is the case, then you, it's better for you to do a both teams to score or Whole, like 1x home team to win or tie, something like that, you know. Zweite Bundesliga. Both teams to score, minus 175. For both teams to score. And with the line movement strategy, you have to wait five minutes before the game starts to have a clearer picture where the money goes. You can't just bet willy-nilly. Let me see really quick the lines. My money lines for Furt is minus 141 and for Fortuna minus 169. Uh, you know what I'll just uh, skip this one because with the line movement I checked and I cannot eliminate two outcomes I can only eliminate one and that's not playing by my strategy you can only place a bet when you can eliminate two outcomes either tie or away team to win or away team to win and tie never play on uh, on a draw never anyways sorry for the delay guys let's keep on uh, 
pushing here more scout reports And today Dortmund plays Bochum. Heavy favorites Dortmund. Also line movement in their favor. One second, guys. Some buffering in the background. Damn, that's that's kind of rough. I can hear it in my headphones. Still no offers for Yuga. So annoying. Oh, okay. So five point five. I'm okay with five. I'm okay with 5 million. Let's do 5.5. Dortmund wants to sign Kresci. We're not interested in selling him. Yeah, I know, Best Murph, yeah. I can hear it in my headphones. When uh, when usually we have buffering, the music stops in my headphones, so that's how I know. I'm looking at the frames. Come on. It's the same old story, man. <laughs> it is what it is. The part is my shitty gaming laptop and also OBS or Twitch. So I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Not not too many viewers. It's only just us two here. <laughs> so we're going to have to renew some contracts for the staff. Just for the general manager, actually. Because the um, under-19s, we don't care. That's not our business. That's the assistant coach business. But our general manager, Darko Gasic. Let's give him another five years and give him 
47. Yeah. Yeah, I know best Murph. Thanks, man. Thanks for, for watching. And it's always at the end of the month when we have buffering. The end of the month, beginning of the new month, you know. Yes, I know, I know, dude. Thank you. And Shakhtar, finally, justice, one nothing. Thank you. 65th minute now. It was from a penalty, so... Finally some justice. I hope they're not gonna slow down. Just keep on scoring right now. I need one more goal, I think, right? Yep, I think I need one more goal here. Actually, no, it's under five goals, so we're good, we're good. I thought I need one more goal, but now, just to, to feel comfortable, I need them to score one more goal, and then they can stop. Because you don't want Veres to score a goal and then the, the bet is lost. Dead dude names Romanian Young Player of the Year winner. Nice. Congrats. Our backup striker, Marian Dedu. Back up to Hanus. Yep, Shakhtar goal. Just out of curiosity, I want to track uh, Greuterfurt and Fortuna. Because based on my trends calculations and on my money line and all, you know, all my whatever research that I did yesterday, it's a both teams to score, but let's see. The chat is delayed, yes, as always, as always. That's uh, Twitch, actually, that's not because of my computer, for sure. It's not only my stream, guys, there's... Plenty of users, plenty of streamers who are encountering this, this problem. I was watching other streams while I was playing Football Manager. And every everyone has this uh, buffering thing. Like you can see their you know their face or their head is like, you know freezing and then there's no movement for a few seconds and then again they're moving and then everything starts to be okay. That's the buffering. No, nah, I, I, even for many who has a Alienware desktop, gaming desktop, very powerful computer. Same thing for Breme. Same thing. It's a Twitch problem. I don't think if I would stream on YouTube, I would have the same thing. I, I don't think so. One hour and 17 minutes, guys. We're going to go for another 45 minutes. Like I said today, it's all about signing new players, finding new players, selling, you know. Tomorrow I will be back. And tomorrow, for sure, 
uh, we will dig in into the second part of the season with more games in Liga 1 and more Champions League games. Tomorrow we'll have time to, to stream maybe for even two hours and a half or three hours. I uh, I don't have cool tomorrow, so... And um, again, uh, one more thing that I wanted to say about the line movement. The stream, uh, the stream tomorrow is probably around 10 or 10.30 a.m. Central Time. You know me. I can never be on time, so let's just say 10.30 a.m. But about the line movement. Um, what I noticed for the whole month... When I place bets on unknown teams or like low quality games, right? The line movement is not that accurate. But when I place bets on the big games or the European leagues, you know what I mean? That's when it's very, very good. So just if you guys want to try this in the future or, you know, just try to focus more on the european um leagues the top 20 leagues i believe are the best yeah like even if you don't bet for example best Murph, but if you go on that website odds portal and just monitor, right? The, in the beginning of the game, just imagine that you're going to place a bet, right? For the team that they show you that the live mo line movement is in favor of, right? And see if it hits or not. Just check the odds. And yeah, track it if you want or if you have time. But... You only can place a bet if you can eliminate two outcomes, like I said. So if you cannot eliminate two outcomes out of the three, then that's no, it's a no-go. Yes, like, it's, it's because the sharp bettors, they have more, they have more knowledge about the big leagues, right? Because, okay, you can place bets on small leagues also, but they're low quality teams, low scoring teams, uh, unknown players, and you know, it's better, in my opinion, it's better to place bets on the top 20 European leagues. And only if you, let's just say you have a losing day and you want to get some money back, then you can focus on Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, South America, you know, in general. Okay, Ravnic. <laughs> 14.25 million in payments from City. We're going to counter with 120. Thank you. And also Al Itihad. One hundred twenty. Yeah, Vulcek from Marseille. This guy will not go anywhere. Medic. <laughs> 2.6 million for Lenny Medic, who is at 147 current ability right now. Infuriating. Infuriating. Vulcek, Romanian First League Player of the Month winner. Let's congratulate him. Head coach on the, of the month for me.
God, I hope it's not gonna rain today because um, I have to go to the yard where the truck is outside and this is where I'm gonna have the class. So I hope it's not gonna rain on us. It looks cloudy and very, very windy, but they didn't say it's gonna rain in my area, but I don't know because I have to drive 38 miles. So yeah. You have to double check later. And Greuter Fort and Fortuna still zero zero after twenty seven minutes. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. Because it's either they're going to cancel the class and I have to drive and then there's no one there. Because usually what this is what they do. If it starts raining, they don't have the class and you drive for nothing. So if it's going to start raining, I'm not going. I'm calling it right now. I don't want to bring an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, they don't care about the students, you know, like because the uh, the instructor, right? The instructor is. It, he's not a jackass, but in between, he's not nice also. So, he doesn't care pretty much. Like, he only cares about himself. Like, oh, if it's raining, then probably he lives close by. He doesn't care if we have to drive for so many miles. Yeah, the day is canceled because of the weather. <laughs> and they don't post this on any... <laughs> for uh, on, on the website, you know. They don't post, like, the schedule of... Classes are, are canceled for today due to the weather. They don't. So it's just. You're going to find out when you go there. Okay, we have another offer. Let's see for who. What? Another 13.25 million available. Made available by the chairman. Thank you. Nahuel Pardo. See, like, we have a very healthy financial situation. And that's why he's giving us money all the time. Here. 13.25. Ravnich. 12.25 in payments from Arsenal. Uh, Who is this guy? Ah, just a unknown player, even for for us. He's our player, but I never, never knew we have him because he's in the under 19s and he's 32 right now. So he was always just a shitty player, and now he decides to retire. So, all right, eight offers. Damn. Okay. Red Bull Salzburg for Yoon, 2.1 million. 2.7 million with clauses. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? How is this even fair? How is this even fair? This guy is 147 current ability. 
78 caps for Czech Republic. Two point one million from Salzburg. See, this is the only thing that I'm complaining about Football Manager right now. Like they should make this more realistic. Like we are in a very established club right now in Europe. Like we're making the run of sixteen every single season, and the value of the team, of each player individually, is way way higher than the general clubs. You know that are not even in the Champions League. And you come to me with this offer. This is unbelievable. I'm going to counter with 30 million. Get lost. Well, for Ojeda. For Ojeda, I'm willing to negotiate. But still, like around 40 million for Ojeda. 40. Yeah. Everton Championship. They relegated, so cheap yep they're cheap leverkusen for kreschi see again like what's happening i'm willing to negotiate but give me 60 there you go yarosh no 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 this guy is not leaving nope rule check in your dreams Medic. <laughs> and Zekic. <laughs> 10 million. And he, this guy is at 163 uh, current ability. And they give 10 million. Not even. That's the Romanian first league for you. You know what? No, for this guy. And 1-1. One, one. Unbelievable. Veresh in the 81st minute. 1-1. One, one. Son of a bitch. Thank you, Shakhtar. Uh, I will negotiate, but I will ask for Zekic 150 million. Actually, let's do 140. Thank you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I won't sell him. Maroha, we're not selling Maroha. And Maroha is at 160 current ability. Yeah, I already know. I already know. Best Murph 1-1. One, one. Unbelievable. And um, Fortuna and Greater Fort 0 0. This game will have less than 2.5 goals. Yeah. Not a good start for my uh, for my day in betting. Not a good start. Hopefully we can pick it up later. I have five bets today. I have PSG to win against Ren and the game to have more than a goal. Uh, and I have maybe I'm debating if I uh, will choose Dortmund to win an under 4.5 but that is tricky because Dortmund at home, they if they have a good day, they can score four or five goals easy. So Bochum is uh, in the relegation zone right now. So they're very, very shitty lately on the road. And Dortmund, they're very strong at home. Yeah, no worries, Best Murph. No worries, man. 
I'll be here anyways for another 27 minutes, so after that we're gonna end the stream. Uh, Medic. Jesus. Yarosh. From Inter. Shitty offer from Inter, of course. Ravnic. Unbelievable. Juventus. 120 and nobody's offering for yuga five million only now from 66 teams interested in yuga now only 21 Sorry. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Line movement for Shakhtar. Twenty one only. Line movement for Shakhtar in favor of Shakhtar. I placed right now a very risky bet at plus 140 for over two goals with the line movement strategy. Let's see if I'm right or if, if they're right. Because now... Usually Shakhtar wins this kind of games, but just to give ourselves a little bit of safety, right? I just put over 2.5 no matter who scores, so. If they're gonna score. At plus 140. Okay, pressing continue. Who is this guy? Not bad, but he's not interested. Chiriada and Ole. Former players or old targets of ours, our scouting department, they're still tracking them. Yarosh again, stop offering for this guy. Yuga, I'm willing to let him go, but not for this cheap. Let's do 
4.8. Get lost. Yeah, 4.8. Okay, they're negotiating. Which is good. Let's do 4.5. Uh, 2.3. Mm, maybe it's gonna... Okay, 4.2. 2.7. They're cheap. I'm not selling for lower than 4, so... 4.1. 4 million, that's it. If you don't give me 4 million... You can't have him. Yep, get lost. Real Madrid for Ravnic. 120. Fortuna Dusseldorf one nothing at Greater Fort. This is good. Now we need the other team to score. Uh, for Yarosh, yeah. We're not negotiating. Just li leave me alone with this guy. Uh, five million. Okay, so it's going to happen. 4.8. 2.5. 4 4.5. Don't be jerks. 4.5. There you go. 4.5 million from Ado Den Hag for Yuga. Lazio for Yoon. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. 30. January 6th, 2044, guys. Come on, Shakhtar. Oh, man. For only five minutes of extra time. And the odds right now for a, tr for a tie are minus 600. So, yeah, definitely. We lost this one. Uh, Sunday. Okay, Sunday for this one. And Wednesday, Saturday for Trabzonspor and Craiova. Only 11 days left until Chichereda. Let's schedule a friendly just to get the team back to some normal fitness levels. Okay. Uh, let's play against. Einhoven. And boom, both teams to scored. Hit on uh, Greater Fort Fortuna, Dusseldorf 1 1. Let's see if... Oh, then they they didn't disallow it, so boom. 
So I was right with that one, but I'm wrong with Shakhtar. Or the line movement was wrong with Shakhtar. Five more deals. Let's see. Chelsea for Ravnic. <laughs> Reject. Kresci. Jesus. Montpellier for Yuga. Reject. Ajax for Ojeda. 40. I'm okay with 40. Real Madrid for Yoon. Real Madrid wants to buy... Yoon for 2.5 million. You know, Justin Dobrai. Huh? He's getting better and better, this kid. Unbelievable how Shakhtar couldn't win against a team from almost a relegation zone in Ukraine. And they play in Champions League. Yep, full time, 1-1. One, one. Thanks Shakhtar. So in the line movement today, two wins, three losses so far. But there's plenty of games today. There's not a limit of bet that you can place. Like if you spot, if you see exactly the, the movement that you need, the, the, the good games, you know, just place bets. You need a good volume. To, to make sure this strategy is working. Good volume of games. Alright, let's see where we stand with time. Yeah, the offers are very low. Best Murph, yes. Greater for 1-1. One, one, yes, that, that hit. Ojeda. Jesus, man. Dortmund. Cheap, as always. It's annoying, because, like... I need to move forward to press continue, but I can't, because I have to answer to these assholes. Okay, g just give me reasonable offers, but these are just... Infuriating. They're treating us like we are just a shit club with no value. June is happy to stay at Gio. Not now, man. I need I need you to leave. Because we have Luca Calcani joining in the winter. What are we gonna do with Yoon? What are we going to do with Yarosh? We have two left backs. We have two right backs. And Thomas Yoon. 
Maybe we're just gonna have to move Thomas Yun as a central defender from now on. Because he, if he doesn't want to leave and he's just... Nobody's willing to offer us money, then he's just gonna retire as Jules. Yeah, let's just do that. I hope they fix this a bit for the next FM. Yes, me too, man, because this is annoying. This is not realistic. So I guess we're going to keep Thomas Yoon. Let's just take him out of the transfer list. I decided. Yeah, unless we get 30 million at least. Yeah, this guy is not going. It's going to be a squad player. And we have a strong defense right now. Ratsari is established. Yeah, this guy is world class. This guy is world class right now. 18 years old and yeah, him and Zekic are a lock. Zekic is 17 on tackling. God, this guy is just improving more and more, which it, each time that I click on him. Jose Luis, okay, let's renew the contract. Let's try again. Come on. Don't be a jerk again. Ooh. Now he doesn't want to. Huh. He doesn't want to. Wanted by Al Nasser. Yeah, we're not letting you go. We're not letting you go. How much did we pay for him? We paid 20 million. Yeah, no, no, man. Two years and a half left on his contract. So we're going to try again after the transfer window closes or in the summer to renew. He still has two years, so two years and a half. So we're good. We are good. Ratsari, eight weeks. Come on, not now. And that's why it's good that we have Thomas Yoon. Ten minutes guys and we're done for today we will play one friendly before the start of the second part of the season Eindhoven will pay us a visit at Petre Libardi Eight point five million offer for Yarosh. We definitely have to sell one or two players to cover the seventeen million we paid for the Italian left back. Kurstich Everton. Five million. How about sixty million?
Yeah, this is gonna be an ongoing problem during this uh, save. This shitty offers will never stop. Crashy. Wow. You know what? Just let's not waste time negotiating for nothing. We have actually two players joining, so 20 million, it's going to be deducted from our uh, budget. So we have to sell two players for more than 20 million just to cover. We have Yuga, 4.8 or 4.5, I think, 4.5, yeah, and we need another... 17 million Chelsea for Edson <laughs> We paid 17 million for him, but I'm willing to negotiate for this guy. I'm willing to let him go for 80 Thank you uh, Newcastle for Kirstich 60 and he's yours Okay. You're a jerk. Newcastle. 60. Inter. I knew it. And just... Not selling Yarosh. And also Lazio. Reject. God. Oh. Yeah. That was Lazio. Negotiate. I hope no injuries. We're playing a friendly, but it's very close to the games in Champions League. We already have one injury. Long-term injury. Mazzari, four to five weeks. And we beat 4-1 Eindhoven. Let's praise the goal scorers. Pedersen with a Dopieta. Oh, I just did it. I don't know. What the hell? Oh, he scored th three. Damn, hat trick. Wow. And 154. Current ability for Vucic. What a beast. Uh, Sunday and Wednesday, Saturday. Okay.
So it's gonna happen. Yuga is almost signing with Arad and Hug. Usually when they send us this kind of message, Yuga confident of moving away from Jewel, it's very close to happening. So we're gonna let him go. And based on the fact that next season there's no games in Liga 1, um, yeah, we don't care about how many Romanian players we'll have in our squad. Betsmar, thank you for being here, man, today. Thank you for joining. Have a great weekend. Take care. Ah, we'll check. We have ton, ton of offers. Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you're here tomorrow, um, I'll be live. 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And we'll talk some more, man. We're just gonna ask for that stupid... <laughs> 575 million per month loan this is my counter for each stupid offer that we get from cheap teams ratari look at this unbelievable 1 million 1.6 first it reject Oh, man, but we're done for today guys. We are done. Let me just save the game Today we didn't play Any team uh, we just uh, scouted. We just uh, rambled about my uh, betting strategies uh, Best mark for us here. Thank you, man. Thank you again for joining um, We signed that red back uh, red back uh, right back from Nigeria. Yahaya and uh tomorrow we're gonna still try to sell players just to cover for um the money that we paid for the italian left back and uh for the right back so yeah and probably we need another 17 or 18 million just to be on track financially thank you guys for watching i will see you all tomorrow at 10 30 a.m have a nice day bye bye